so here we are on the desktop and I've already opened some things up here but uh, this is silky picks this is Fuji's raw file converter 3.0 powered by silky picks but actually that's not where I want to go first the first thing I would do is um, look at all my photos in fast stone just because it's a little easier to navigate than silky picks silky picks has the same capabilities kind of um, they actually it actually has more capability in the sense that it allows you to star rate your photographs and uh, fast stone doesn't do that so that that's a potential you know one of the drawbacks to fast stone but I love the way fast stone allows you to look at your photographs so when I went back and I was looking at my uh, Zion photographs from the trip um, yep there it is so there's the JPEG that's what the JPEG looked like and here's the raw file and um, what I did from here is I like this one and I thought it had potential the raw files always look flat and this JPEG actually looks pretty flat too so I'm not sure what my JPEG settings were but anyway I took this raw file and I took it into um, the raw file converter and I actually did nothing to it I left it as the default on all the default settings and I processed this into a um, TIFF file that I brought into Affinity and I did a bunch of things to it I did a lot of things to it but they were all very subtle and maybe I'll show you what some of those are. The first thing I tend to do is a levels adjustment. And um, this is what I love about Affinity. It shows you what you, you know, you can go back and redo it. So what I do is I bring the whites and the blacks right to the edge of where there's detail. So there's no point, you know, so right there. And... Um, and then I gave it a little bit of vibrance and 10% uh, vibrance, 20% saturation. Just give it a little color. It was it was that colorful when I was there. The image was flat. So it, you know the, the digital tends to record things flat. And then brightness and contrast I tweaked a little bit, 15%, 15%. And then this curves adjustment with the mask. I'll show you what I did there. It's a weird curve, but it's really only for the bottom section there. And that's really what it did is bring the bottom section in and allowed me to lighten up the top. And then, of course, uh, a little bit of clarity, 15% uh, clarity. And that's what that did. It's very subtle. Just gives it a little bit of punch. And of course, unsharp mask, just to give it a little, little bit of, of sharpness. And, and that's how I processed it. And this is a named image. This is Cottonwood Zion Canyon. And um, there it is. And that's how I processed it. So I, I tend not to do crazy outlandish things. Um, you know, tweaking the color a little bit like film would have and um, dealing with uh, contrast and brightness really is all I'm doing to, and that's that's pretty much all I ever do to, to my images and so that was the post processing involved and the workflow involved for Cottonwood Zion Canyon alright hope that was helpful for some people and uh, appreciate it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Have a good one. Bye.